What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Online. And today I'd like to talk about properties and all the information that's kind of floating around out there about them. Uh, a lot of people have been getting really excited because they heard of the you know most recent property leak. Uh, of course, the leakers, the, the people that data mine this, get all the credit for finding out the information. But of course, I just want to let everyone know that has been you know reading about this stuff and, and, and kind of interested in it and getting really, really excited about it. To kind of take it, take it all with a grain of salt, because the reason that I say that is this information has been out there. A lot of the information that has been leaked recently has been in the game files since the game was released. This was the same information that uh, Rockstar talked about before the game was released. When the first, when the game first was going to come out, they talked about you know uh, the game itself, the story mode, and they were asking a lot of questions, and a lot of different interviews about Red Dead Online. They said Red Dead Online was a thing that they were working on that would come out eventually, which of course you know as as you know it did. And then they also talked about um, some things they would like to do with Red Dead Online. They talked about properties. And even since um, that time, we still have not gotten properties in the game yet. And over the last few months and even into end of last year, they were asked by several different people in interviews about properties. And even talking about the, the Moonshine uh, role when it was released, they talked about how they saw an opportunity to kind of introduce the first property into the game by having the Moonshine Shack added in, being able to add a bar into the game, that kind of thing, inside the Moonshine Shack. But a lot of players are still wanting to own their own homes. And I would say we're probably going to get that at some point. When, I'm still not sure. I'm not sure if this is going to be part of another update or a smaller update before the end of the year, if this is going to be the other major update that they're talking about that should come out before the end. April of 2021, as you guys know, I made a video talking about that a few days ago. If you have not seen it, I will link it up in the top corner. But pretty much the president of Take-Two uh, stated they will have another major update for the game, along with another major, uh, you know, a major update for GTA 5 as well, or GTA Online. But he said in that interview that the update for Red Dead Online will be between now and April 2021, when a lot of people were speculating it was going to be out before the end of the year. He kind of changed the the way Rockstar worded it. So I'm not sure if we're going to have several small updates and one major update or what the case may be, but I'm assuming at some point we're going to get properties for the game. It's been talked about since before the game was released. It's been talked about several times since then in different interviews from actual Rockstar employees, and also all this information has been leaked. Also, another quick thing that I would like to say is when, you, when you're looking at some of these leaks and some of these this information, just know that a lot of this that, that is leaked, a lot of this that is data mined, is just placeholders. The information that has been given out about the exact locations and the price of these homes, I wouldn't necessarily just take that as you know the truth. It, it could be a similar style area. Uh, the prices, I'm sure, are probably a little high because some of the prices that are listed in kind of the placeholders and the, and you know the information that was data mined. Is several hundred gold bars to 600 gold bars. Now, some of the houses were cheaper, some of them were 40 to 50, but I just cannot see them adding a home in game that costs 600 gold bars. If that's the case, this is <laughs> this is going to be absolutely absolutely ridiculous because I can't really see anyone paying more than maybe 100 gold bars for a home, and I can see a lot of players not even wanting to pay that because they may be newer to the game. They may not have that many gold bars. They may have spent them on other things, and if they're really wanting to get that deep into microtransactions, I, I think it's probably going to hurt the game more in the end than it would help. I would assume properties would probably be anywhere from 50 to 100 gold bars. It's just, just going to be my guess. Um, of course, like I said, that's just my opinion. The reason I say that is because, of course, you know, the Outlaw Pass is around 40 gold bars. The rolls now are what? The Naturals roll costs 25 gold bars. I'm assuming they're going to kind of put it in line with, you know, those ideas. Probably a little bit more expensive, uh, of course, than the Outlaw Pass. I'm just hoping they don't go too insane with the go bar price of these homes. I was kind of hoping they would do it with just regular, you know, Red Dead cash, just the, the cash that you get in game. But it looks like, from what information we have so far, that it's going to be go bars uh, is the way that you're, well, it's what you're going to need to purchase these homes. But like I said, take all of the information that's out there right now with a grain of salt because all this information has been in the game since day one. It's just different things are getting data mined now that the game is out on PC. Um, but hopefully we will get some information at some point about properties. Hopefully it will be in the update 
sooner rather than later. I'm hoping we get a, a update that kind of just adds to the naturalist maybe or adds to all these roles like they've talked about. And it's going to give us properties because I think that would be a really, really cool thing to have a property and the roles. And you could do a lot of this from your own home. You could do a lot of different things from your home. Uh, you can fast travel back and forth for free, whatever the case may be. I think adding homes into the game would be a exceptional idea. It's just going to depend on how they handle it, how much they cost, and when it comes out. Because a lot of people are going to get tired, once again, of waiting if these updates take way too long. I hope I didn't really discourage anyone from, you know, being excited about homes, because I still am. I'm still excited about properties coming to the game. I just want to give you guys the information that I knew, just so you know, you don't... I, I just didn't want to hurt anybody's, you know, feelings or, or make anybody upset by saying, oh, the properties may not be coming. That's not well, That's not at all what I'm saying. I'm just saying... Don't get your hopes up too soon because a lot of this info has been out there for a long time and we still do not have really any home properties like things you actually can own besides the Moonshine Shack in-game right now. Of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thought, your thoughts about properties, what you would like to see come with a property update. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. Be sure to check out all the info down in the description. GT Racing is down there. They are the affiliate here on the channel. Also, the community Discord is linked down there if you would like to join it. And if you would like to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter is linked down there as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.